Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, it's time to do another What's New in Transformers. Yeah, I love, love talking about new Transformers. I don't have them in hand, just like to chit-chat. So sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, grab some m ms and let's, uh, yeah, let's talk about some new Transformers. All right, all right, all right. Well, all right, up first is going to be add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And it looks like Major the Workshop is making some legacy g2 laser prime and nemesis laser prime upgrade kits now i think we've already seen the legacy the g2 laser prime now they're making the nemesis it's going to be a red sword has his gun he has some rocket launchers to add to the base mode and you also get a rocket too as well be pretty cool if you could fire them i think the original one you could fire them but anyway it's pretty cool if you want to upgrade your uh, laser prime and your nemesis laser prime well matrix workshop is here for you all right good stuff and it looks like Ratchet's Operating Studio, I, I think I've talked about them before, but they're making an upgrade kit for Titan Returns Fortress Maximus. Uh, so you get a screwdriver, which is cool because you got to take apart some stuff. Uh, you get different shoulder pads. It looks like he's got some 80s woman's working shoulder pads now. You get thigh covers. You do get some leg extensions to make him a little taller, or actually a lot taller, to be honest. Um, you get some other stuff too as well. Um, looks pretty good. I think different hands, maybe. I don't know. Uh, looks like it, it worked on the hands or something. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you, you know, this is, you know, pretty late. If you have a Titan Returns Fortress Maximus and you want to make them taller, um, yeah, this will be the kit for you. I don't know if this is going to be sold everywhere. You might can check, you know, um, uh, who has these places? Uh, TS Safari usually has a lot of these uh, in, you know, in stock and everything. So you might want to check there. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Ratchet's Operating Studio. This is ROS-022. And this is Tight Return Fortress Maximus Upgrade Kit to make him a little bigger. All right, then it looks like DNA Designs has some upgrade kits for Shatter and uh, Mirage from the, uh, you know, the Bayverse. Uh, looks like the uh, Car Mode Shatter gets a new head sculpt, which looks pretty good. Then the Jet Mode Shatter gets new uh, from the elbow down to the hands, gets new, uh, you know, half an arm. And then it looks like Mirage is getting a new uh, leg. And it looks like so he'll have a rocker. So that looks pretty cool. I like that. Uh, so yeah, if you've you know, been waiting around for some upgrade kits for Shatter and Mirage, here you go. DNA Designs has you covered. Well, all right, folks, that's all I have for add-on kit news. Let's move on to Legends. And it looks like New Age Toys was listening to us. Yeah. So we're getting a Grimlock from New Age Toys, which I'm really excited for. And But, you know, the inner thighs were kind of kind of fugly. There was a lot of stuff going on in there. But they were listening. It said, based on your feedback suggestions, we made two new cover panels, which can be installed in the inner side of the lower legs of the robot mode. Because H44 will be released in no time, the panels will be included with the corresponding version, uh, the original color version of the next dinosaur. So it'll be on the, it should be with the next uh, Dinobot uh, if you get them. So you get the inner thigh covers, which really helps. I think that's pretty cool. I, you know, I'm, he's going to be in Dinobot mode for me anyways, but it's still a nice nod that, you know, New, Day, New Age has actually listened to us. So that is really cool. So we get some new panels for Dinobot or uh, Grimlock, and that is awesome, awesome. Oh, also from New Age, they showed the scale with, uh, you know, the uh, Grimlock. This is next to their Constructicons, and he's a he's a pretty big fella. I like it. I'm loving it. I cannot wait for this to come out. I can't wait to get all of the Dinobots. So New Age Grimlock scale. And then up next, we have MPH Studios, which uh, they're doing a Beachcomber, which I've shown a couple of times already. Uh, well, now we got a black silhouette of, you know, I guess you can't really tell who it is, but... It is Optimus Prime. Uh, it is holding the axe and the gun. Uh, he's going to be about 9 centimeters tall, so he's going to be about Dr. Wu scale around that area. Super movable, G1 animation shape, you know, simple and smooth uh, deformation structure. Uh, so pretty cool. So yeah, you know, be on the lookout for MPH Studios. Uh, we got Optimus Prime. Like I said, they are making a beachcomber. I think they're making some other ones as well, but... Yeah, pretty cool. And it looks like Mechanic Toys is making a Nightbird. So that's pretty cool. Uh, looks like they don't have any of the pictures of the bot mode yet, but it does show the car mode and the accessories that come out with, you know, swords. Get some throwing stars, some nunchucks, 
and it looks pretty good. So this is the painted version. So it looks very nice. So yeah, we're getting a Nightbird from Mechanic Toys and Mechanic Studios, Mech Fans Toys, whatever you want to call them that week. And uh, that's pretty cool. And then we have Mechanic Studios. Once again, like they are Mech Fans Toys, Mechanic Toys. Now Mechanic Studios usually does their own stuff. Mech Fans Toys is usually the one that knocks off. So I don't think this is a knockoff of the Magic Square Sideswipe. Anyway, this is Tiger Track. So this is their Tiger Paul. Um, looks okay. If it is a knockoff, it's going to be an upscale version of him. But I, like I said, Mechanic Studios usually does their own thing. So this might be a new mold for them. But anyways, this is MS-05, Tiger Paws, and Tiger Track. And then we got some new uh, color uh, prototype picks of Dr. Wu's MS-20 Amy. This is their uh, uh, RC, and it's going to be about three inches tall, give or take around there. You know, really small Dr. Wu. They go well with uh, like Unicron or your Titan, you know, Titan Return stuff or Titan class uh, stuff. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm excited for this. It looks really good. Not a whole lot of backpack. You know, most of the time she does have a little, ba you know, a lot of stuff on the back, but. It's, it's, it looks like it's uh, compressed, you know, pretty good. So I'm really excited for her. I can't uh, have her on pre-order, so I'll definitely gonna get this one. So this is Dr. Wu MS-20 Amy, and this is some color prototype picks. So it should be coming out pretty soon, hopefully. And it looks like also Dr. Wu and Mechanic Toys, which they're working together, uh, is giving us a uh, Hunter RC limited version. Uh, it looks like it's up for pre-order on Shozy Store. Now this was like the three pack with her. Uh, Windblade and the other um, other one other Fembot and they were like the Beast Hunter kind of thing going on or the uh, Titan Returns uh, Hunters or something. I mean, I have the three pack and they're pretty cool. It's, they're, you know, deluxe scale, but this is going to be a smaller scale and this is RC and it's a limited version. Uh, so I definitely got to get this one. So there you go. Purple and black RC. And speaking of RC, we got, I guess, a new company, MHZ Toys. This is Mini Argia. Uh, so this is another RC and she's going to be about 10 centimeters tall. So about, you know, the three, three and a half inch tall. Um, so it's going to be the same scale as Dr. Wu, but it's, like I said, it's a different company. I don't know. They just show a picture, you know, nothing like a prototype or, you know, a render or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I guess this is going to come out pretty soon or not pretty soon, but you know, sometime. But this is MHZ Toys Mini Argia. This is uh, another RC and uh, going to be around the Dr. Wu scale. So yay. And then we got some cute toys. Uh, this is our first release of the Big Head series. Uh, the height of the product is going to be about 12 centimeters tall. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Made of nylon uh, alloy. So he's going to have some die cast in him. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, this Optimus Prime, he does come with a trailer. You know, he does come with a roller, his gun, his axe, all that wonderful stuff. Kind of the deformed series kind of thing going on. Uh, looks pretty cool. So there you go. Q series or Q toys. And this is the Big Head series. This is Optimus Prime. And the last thing we're going to talk about in Legends is Iron Factory Shadow Wave. This is Sound Blaster. This is their triple changer. Turns into a boom box, and he also, or not a boom box, but a tape recorder. And he also turns into like a, a truck kind of thing going on. Uh, they already have the Sound Wave out. And it's pretty cool. I liked it. And uh, looking forward to this as well. So there you go. Iron Factory Shadow Wave. This is their Sound Blaster. All right, folks, that's all we have for Legends news. Let's move on to MP third party news and some more things from Light Toys. And they're making this huge Metroplex and they're showing some articulation so he can do the Iron Man pose. So you know you have to definitely get it now if you can do that. But that is simply amazing. I mean, this thing is going to be like four feet tall, I think. It's going to be huge. But to pull off that kind of uh, articulation is pretty, pretty cool. So there you go. I don't know for sure if I'm in for it. We'll have to wait and see. But Light Toys is showing off Metroplex again. And it looks like Fan Tobias is showing off some MB-18 Energy Commander color test shots without spray painting or imprints. This is combined mode. So we're getting some color pics of their uh, Energon Optimus Prime. Now, what's really cool is like just the original, you can switch out the uh, the arms and legs and everything. So they're inter switchable or interchangeable. And uh, that's pretty cool. That's a nice little option. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm definitely in. I like the Armada stuff they did. So uh, definitely looking forward to their Energon stuff. So there you go. Fans Hobby MB-18 Energy Commander. And I uh, got some color prototypes. All right. And then we got some new stuff from Metagate, which I talked about them last week. This is their Drift from Age of Extension. And we do got some new prototype picks. Now, this is the Triple Changer. He turns into the uh, Bugatti, the nice car. Looks really good. The Batma looks really, really good. They got some nice, nice detail scope work throughout, especially in the back. Now, the helicopter, 
it's a, you know, most time with triple changers, one of the molds is going to, you know, suffer. And it looks like the helicopter mode is because it just looks like a jumbled bunch of just parts and stuff. But overall, not too bad. Uh, I'm kind of, you know, interested. It's about 20 centimeters tall from the top of the head. So uh, a good size. I like that. So there you go. Metagate is giving us, uh, this is their uh, drift from Age of Extinction. And it uh, looks not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm probably going to look and get this or something. And Vectron Lab actually showed us some uh, scale, and it looks like the uh, robot mode for their scrapper is uh, going to be 21.4 centimeters tall. And you can see them right next to uh, MP Megatron, so not a bad scale at all. Definitely, definitely scales with uh, the MP scale stuff. So, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. This is Vectron Lab. I uh, don't know if I'm going in on it or not because I already have a Devastator. But if you're in for another, uh, you know, Devastator, here you go. Vectron Lab has you covered. Well, all right, folks, that's all I have for MP third-party news. Let's move on to official. And it looks like we got some size comparisons with Minasaur from the Legacy. And a lot of people are upset. They thought he was going to be bigger, but uh, they know, you know, he is going to be commander class, right? You know, that's his scale. So he wasn't going to get very much bigger than that. Uh, so he is scaling with the Jetfire from, uh, you know, the Shattered Glass version. Uh, but... I don't understand why people are upset. You know, like I said, he is, you know, he is commander class, set, you know, scale. So, you know, I'm fine with that. I mean, it is combat wars, kind of, you know, the area around that area. But I think it looks good. A lot, so much better than the combat wars one, man. Golly, leaps and bounds better. Uh, but, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. So, yeah, a lot of people are upset. Don't know why. And a lot of people are wanting them to be compatible with Combiner Wars. No. Uh, no. Get away from that. I mean, it's supposed to, you know, it kind of slides in, but it doesn't lock in, which is good. I don't know why people want to combine this with Combiner Wars. But, anyways, whatever makes you happy, that's, that's all that matters. But I, I'm excited for this. So, there you go. You know, scale comparisons with uh, Legacy Motor Master or, you know, Minasaur. Uh, with Jetfire. And then it looks like Jada Toys RC Converting Optimus Prime was found in retail. So if you couldn't afford a thousand dollar one that came out recently, uh, here you go. I mean, it's not the exact same thing or not even close, but you know, if you wanted something to, you know, mess around with or the kid, you know, give it to the kids or something, you know, it was found in Michigan. So uh, be on the lookout for the Jada Toys RC Converting Optimus Prime. All right. And then up next we have Kabot, 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 Golly, uh, Kotobukiya, I think that's how you say it, Bishujo series, Transformer Megatron Prime Gray t Prototype. My God, that was a mouthful. So the original 1-7th anime, anime girl rendition of Megatron, uh, revealed together also with Optimus Prime, features several iconic elements of the Ruthless Decepticon leader. It's planned to be released in 2023. No specific date or anything like that or price yet. Uh, to top it off, you know, it, you know, it looks pretty cool. Uh, you know, the sculpt looks very nice. You can see the, you know, the fusion cannon on top of her. So if you like this kind of thing, pretty cool. Um, I may try to, you know, try to get one of these, especially the uh, Optimus Prime and uh, Megatron. I'm sure they're going to do some other ones, probably Bumblebee and all that stuff. Be cool if they did a star screen. That'd be awesome. But there you go. Uh, this is the Megatron Prime uh, gray prototypes. I'm not even going to try to say the name again because I butchered it. I apologize. But it looks pretty cool. And then we got some in-hand images of Takara Tomy Legacy Wild Rider. Uh, so, you know, shocker, someone, you know, got this one and reviewed it, uh, but we got the new uh, member showing his transformation from vehicle to robot mode, and it uh, looks pretty good. Now, they fixed the backpack a lot better than what they had the original photos that Hasbro did, so it looks a whole lot better. I have to say that. I'm definitely excited for it. I'm definitely in for the uh, Minasaur. So there you go, in-hand images of uh, Legacy Wild Rider. And then we got in-hand Im in images of Deluxe Knockout as well. So new incarnation of Transformers Prime Knockout out of the Legacy line. This is a retool of their Jazz from the Studio Series 86 movie line. And it uh, looks, you know, pretty good. I love the car mode. And I like the bot mode. A lot of people are not liking the bot mode because it just doesn't look like Knockout. But I think it looks okay. So, yeah, there you go, man. New in-hand images of Legacy Deluxe Knockout, and I'm, I love that weapon too. I'm I'm definitely in for this guy. I'm all I can't wait for Wave Two to come out. Come on now. And then new in-hand images of Legacy Deluxe Alita One. So we are have already seen the you know the Alita One mold from the War of Cybertron line. Legacy brings us a new Alita One mold with more G1 cartoon inspired design. The images show Alita One next to War of Cybertron Netflix Alita One and Earthrise Kingdom RC. And you can spot the differences and all that stuff. Um, I love the bot mode. The car mode, you know, kind of looks like a clown car, but it's fine. 
but overall i like it. it looks pretty good like i said i'm ready for wave two so there you go in hand images of legacy deluxe alita one and we got some new package images from bumblebee cyberverse adventures dinobot unite smash changer golly optimus prime that's a whole lot of damn uh, so this figure was officially revealed back in February of this year, but now we have new stock images revealing the packaging of this new 9-inch Optimus Prime figure which transformed from truck to robot in just three steps. All right. In fact, if you just smash it, it'll do it by itself. That's pretty cool. So it looks pretty, you know, if you like this kind of thing, it's going to be $31.49 and scheduled to be released in October. So this is Bumblebee Cyberverse Optimus Prime. That's who, that's who it is. All right. And it looks like they showed off their uh, Transformers Masterpiece MPG-01 Trainbot Shuki on exhibit at the Japan Toy Awards 2022. So this event was held in Japan Toy Association to promote innovation and remarkable products in the Japanese toy industry. So they showed off the new Trainbot, which selected as a finalist in the high target category, and several production samples were on display in robot and uh, train mode as well. Uh, also, it looks like they were doing combiner mode or something, combiner mode. Uh, so, top it off, veteran Transformer designer and Transformer Hall of Fame 2010 inductee Kojin Ono was in, invited to the presentation. And uh, one of the slides gives us a glimpse of the upcoming Masterpiece Transpots, uh, Trainbot silhouettes. So, it shows all of them uh, together. So, that looks pretty cool. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so looks like the first one's going to be coming out pretty soon. Yay! And it looks like uh, Studio Series Wave 16 Voyager Junk Heap was found in U.S. retail. So it was found in Target in Arizona, and this is a retool of their Retgar, and uh, definitely excited for this, so uh, happy hunting. And also found on U.S. retail, we got Micro Machines Transformers 2007 and Revenge of the Fallen 4-packs uh, were found as well. They were spotted in Target in Texas, and they consist of Jazz, Bumblebee, Brawl, and Megatron. And the Revenge of the Falling consists of Elite One, RC, Megatron, and Bumblebee. Each contains a movie scene display and a special decoder to discover each bot's hidden alliance. All right, that's pretty cool. So if you like Micro Machines, uh, happy hunting. And guess what, folks? More in-hand images. So this is Studio Series SS-A7 Dark of the Moon Bumblebee. All right. So the mold features several new parts to match the new Camaro alt mode with used in the movie, plus extra modifications for the robot chest. Uh, we have new images of the Bumblebee mold next to the previous Studio Series Bumblebee movie figures uh, to, so you can spot the changes. So pretty cool. So pre-order yours at any other store you want to. Uh, Chosen Prime, I would choose those because they're really nice guys. And so there you go, in-hand images of Dark of the Moon Bumblebee from Studio Series. And the last thing we're going to talk about is rumors. Who doesn't love some rumors? So possible first look at Transformer Legacy Clint Down. As usually, take this with a grain of salt as we find out, you know, we'll find out from official pics and, you know, reliable confirmation. The images show a redeco of Kingdom Earth mode, a red alert, with using a deco scene in the pre-Transformers die clone, and then e, then a e-hobby repaint of G1 reissue Sideswipe in 2003. Uh, we got some even some more images, and it uh, looks pretty good. Got some comparison shots, too, as well. And once again, my God, what is this, the 10th time they've used this mold? But I'm going to get it. Who, you know, because I'm a sucker. So there you go. I love some Transformers. So there you go. Rumor, possible first look at Transformers Legacy Clampdown. Oh, right. Well, all right, folks, that's all I have this week for news. And, man, we got some really good stuff. Lots of in-hand images of Legacy Wave 2. Uh, we got some awesome legend stuff coming out. I'm really excited for all that. I'm glad we're getting cover for the uh, Grimlock legs. That is awesome. New Age, you're listening. That is great. So, yeah, hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Hit me up some comments. Tell me what you're excited for. Are you excited for any of this stuff or none of it? And I guess I'll see you the next uh, What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.